I want to steal your bike. Hey guys, Falcon's got a chopper. <laughs> ah, look, I got a chopper finally. Yeah, yeah. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the last day. Update 1.5.5. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Today's update video is actually very short, very small. Nothing really huge, nothing really major. No new areas, no new zones, but new items, which might help our lives be a little bit easier down the line. Now remember, our biggest issue right now is going to be aluminum. Aluminum is needed for everything in this game now. We need aluminum bars. We need to find aluminum wire. In order to find aluminum wire, we have to go through the bunker many times. It's a hassle. So what have they done? Well, we have iron hatchets and iron pickaxes for one. Weapons to mine, more durability. Awesome, cool. We could easily make them. I'll go ahead and make one right now. And I already have one of these, but I'll make a second one because so we're looking for bioxide. Bioxide is the new ore which can be smelted down into iron bars. Now, bioxide could only be found here or here. Red zone, dangerous zones. That's the only place you can mine them. So we're ready to go here. I've got myself somewhat decked out. We have, um, we'll also go to a player base afterwards to smash one of the level two walls. That is correct. Level 2 walls are no longer saved, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you're getting ready for the upgrade or the multiplayer update and you want to keep your base safe, Level 2 wall can be brought down by this, apparently. We'll test it out. Now, mining this, even with the iron tools, it does still take 5 strikes, which I'm pretty sure... Iron ore? That's only iron ore. I'm pretty sure it used to be only 5... It's only 5 strikes, even with the wooden one. So, it's a little bit unfortunate. Still nothing. It's a little bit unfortunate that... Even though we have a better tool, you still have to do the same amount of strikes, you know? Like, technically speaking to me, other than better durability, you should also be able to smash this down and maybe say three strikes as opposed to five. That's at least my opinion, but, you know, what do I know? There we go. Finally won by Oxide. I, I was starting to lose hope over here. So let me give you guys an idea. There's a couple more over here. Let me leave the zones where we're a bit safe and now show you essentially how rare the bioxide is. It took me 21 of the ore boulders to get one bioxide. 21 I had to break down. Now mind you, in 21, my um, iron pickaxes over here performed amazingly. They didn't break down. So at least the durability is really good. I really wish you could actually break them down faster than five swings it should be like maybe four maybe at least three three or four would be good because it's a it's a stronger weapon than the wooden pickaxe you know but at least the durability is actually really good but it took me 21 in order to find one now mind you it's all matter of luck as well you just whenever something drops it'll drop oh so they fixed the bases the enemy bases and they probably restocked them ah huh Intriguing. Yeah, because we had broken this bad boy down. Remember, we came here when they first added the, the wall breakdown update. We came down here, we, we looted the place. Now it's all fixed up again. Well, that's cool. I guess that'll give us something to do next time. But right now, I wanted to find out if this bad boy right here does indeed break down the level 2 wall. So let's give it a try. And we should also see about the durability. Completely filled up, right? Let's give it a try. Oh, baby. It's going down all right. So from full, wow, okay, at least we know, one iron tool will be able to bring down a level two wall, but it's only one per wall, very much like you used to be able to like, you know, one tool for this one, like the wooden ones, I believe, although there was like a trick to, you know, glitch it out or something, I don't know, it required you like running back and forth like an imbecile and like switching a weapon fast it was like i was going to myself like why would you do that <laughs> why would you go through that effort so there you go one iron hatchet for one level two wall so again ladies and gentlemen your base you got to go up to level three now whenever they have the multiplayer up to because now level two walls can be brought down really easily let's be honest here level two tools are very easy to make that is very very easy to make so oh um this isn't mine. Oh! Oh, the NPCs have a- have a- What? Bottle with gasoline? 
What? Hey, why can't I steal this? I want to steal your bike! Hey guys, Falcon's got a chopper! <laughs> ah, look, I got a chopper finally! Yeah! Yeah! It's not really mine, is it? No. It's not. So these guys have choppers and I don't have a chopper yet. Good god, I feel pretty disappointed right now. Yeah, so the equipment has actually respawned. Okay, so there you guys have it. Make yourself a couple level 2 tools and um, go back to the houses. Apparently they've restocked items. Who knows what's going to be in there? Maybe we could find some engine parts, which are really rare. Uh, we could probably find some rubber parts, which are kind of a little bit rare. So there you guys have it. This will be the update. The other thing that they talked about was they've made... The bunker easier, whatever that means. Maybe they've reduced some of the enemies, maybe they've given them less HP. That was the other big thing I read about. Yeah, I think that's really it. If I remember something, I'll add it down, but I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed a very small video, but again, the update was actually really small. But it's mostly just balancing, and I kind of like this update. I like small ones on occasion to just add cool things you could actually make, and you don't have to necessarily go through like 70 levels of hell in order to get something cool for one. So this is good. Nice little small updates like this is always pretty good too. I will catch you next time.